Well, hello there, Cancer. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Make sure you guys flip and switch the roles and just take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Cross watches, you are welcome here as well. Um, and, you know, anybody that's got us to watch this video, you are also welcome. All right, Cancer, I hope you don't mind the setup here. I wanted to come to my island to do my readings. I didn't want to be in my room. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys don't mind. But let's tap in. Happy new moon. Okay, and Pisces. All right, it's coming up on uh, Monday. But we are in the shadow period. So let's see what your new beginning might consist of. Okay, what is going on with Cancer? What's coming in for Cancer Spirit? <clears throat> spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters. Please return any spell work, any dark uh, magic that has since uh, harmed the collective and their loved ones, me and my loved ones. Please return it back to the sender. Okay, so let's see, Cancer. Let's see what is going on with you guys <clears throat> for cancer messages for, okay, so we have the lovers, okay, cancer, so you could be dealing with a Gemini, so a relationship here could be very significant, okay, um, you could have a choice, okay, between two lovers here. You could have somebody in your life already and maybe somebody, someone else around you. Um, but there's a strong, one of these connections are very strong and divine or both. For some of you, I'm getting a choice between a higher level soulmate and a twin. Okay, but I feel like you know which one you need to get, okay? Or if you don't, maybe you'll find out here. <laughs> Hopefully, let's see. Um, what else? Uh, you can have a major decision coming up as well. It doesn't have to be love, but I feel like it is. Okay, it's a relationship. All right, let's see. For Cancer. But I see balance. Okay, this one want to come out. I'm going to let it come. Okay, yeah, so the high priestess. Pisces energy. Yeah, then I just said that you know which choice you need to make. So now would be a good time to follow your intuition. Okay, listen to your gut. Okay, um, you guys could be highly spiritual, highly intuitive. Cancers are anyway, you are the mother. Okay, so um, you're very intuitive. You're very wise. Okay, I'm getting, there's a strong sexual connection you have with somebody. There's somebody here that you're meant to procreate with. Mm -hmm. That's eight, six plus two, yeah. So... There's something that could be worked out between you and somebody. <clears throat> okay, I feel like you know that. There's a there's strong love here that you have for someone. So I feel like you know what you need to do. You just need to follow your intuition, listen to your gut about something. Okay, yeah, Ten of Wands. Someone could have a Sag Saturn. Yeah, there's a lot of overwhelming emotions that I feel like you have for somebody or they have for you. But you could be a bit stressed about it. You, you could kind of like feel overwhelmed. I feel like you're drained. It, some, one of these relationships is draining you. They're a burden. Okay. And I feel like maybe the other one is that your emotions are really heavily um, intertwined in the connection because you love them or you care about them or because y'all are drawn to each other for a reason. Y'all are meant to be together or something like that. I'm also getting though something about pregnancy Okay, I'm getting fertility. You, maybe you're, you are supposed to procreate with someone. <clears throat> okay, but you have this deep knowing of something that you need to do. Okay, because something else is a burden here. We're going to see what it is. Let's see. Or just the simple fact that you can't hold your feelings in anymore for this person or act like you don't want them anymore or fight it off or whatever. You know, you had a strength card, Leo energy. Yeah. So I feel like this relate. There's a there's a certain connection here that's really really hard, but you're persevering through it though because I feel like you know what you need to do, okay. And then there's something else that I feel like you know that you need to get rid of, but your pride could be in the way. It could be your ego. Like maybe you know that something is weighing you down. It's you're overworked. You're stressed. You're burdened. It's causing an imbalance for some of you in your home, your work life. You guys need to maybe get somebody to get out of your home. Like you need to declutter your home maybe or something. <clears throat> but I feel like you feel an imbalance somewhere and it's because your soul is being guided somewhere. Okay, for sure. So you're going to have to make a decision. 
okay? And I feel like you're going to need the courage to do this here because I feel like you're getting fed up with something. And something is about to end here. What else? Okay, yeah, Six of Wands, a victory here in this, whatever this lover's connection is, okay? Your lover could be seen in a public eye, or this is you, Cancer. You could be seen in a public eye, but... I'm getting, there's something that's going to be a success in a relationship. And I feel like you're getting signs about which one it could be. Okay. Because I do feel like there's a choice. All right. But I'm getting reward, recognition, abundance here for your hard work. Spirit is blessing you for passing numerous amounts of tests. Okay. That you had to encounter and go through to get to this lover's connection. All right, I feel, and I feel like something is going to be, yeah, the fool. Could be an Aquarius, yep, renewal, the judgment. Okay, so something here is coming. It is, it's something, somebody's coming back from your past after a test, possibly after a karmic lesson, 555, five, five. yeah. So for some of you guys, you could be experiencing like conflict, it could be inner conflict here, but don't doubt your intuition. You know what you have to do and it could be hard because you're going to have to have the strength to do it and the courage and being, you're going to have to be brave. And you're going to have to have self-control because I feel like, I don't know, there could be some resistance here. You're going to have to kind of like, you know, stand your ground maybe. But let's see. What else? Someone could have a Leo Jupiter. <clears throat> okay, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you intuitively know that first of all you're going to have to block something yeah because there's a challenge here okay you're gonna to have to show resistance show perseverance show blah, blah, blah. i can't talk show fortitude okay stand your corner um get ready for like battle or something like that because your intuition is telling you to do something and i feel like you know i was just saying that the other day it's so hard to be intuitive in a world full of people who don't really have that self-awareness like that, right? 7-Eleven on a timer. Because it's like hard to explain to people when you're trying to get away from their ass or move away. It's like, well, you're not, they feel like you're not giving them a good enough explanation because you're going off your intuition and not anything 3D based. So they don't have any evidence or proof. So then what? They think you're lying about, about not wanting to be with them or not wanting to be their friend or whatever. It's just, bitch, it's time is up. That's what it is. <laughs> like people don't really understand that and that's that's the problem that i'm having right following my well that's a lie i ain't got no problem following my intuition but it's really it, it it throws a lot of challenges my way because i have to make decisions based off of what what i'm feeling and i always end up at the right place but now i'm starting not to give a fuck i really don't care what you think i'm gonna do what's best for me and all i can do is try to explain to your ass and if you don't get it then oh the fuck well I don't know. Yeah, eight of cups. Yeah, walking away from something because you're desiring more. There's something that you're where you're not emotionally fulfilled somewhere, and I feel like you know where the emotional fulfillment is going to come. Okay, so you definitely have somebody else here. All right, you do, but you're not getting everything that you need from this connection. There's a lack of emotional eight eighteen on the timer. Maybe emotional intimacy. You can't really connect with this person like that. And for some of you, I'm getting. This person here could be lazy or they don't really help you do anything around the house here. You cook, you clean. You're, you're, it's just like a dead weight here. And I feel like you're going to have to leave it behind. Okay, you're going to have to do something because <clears throat> it's a no. Yeah, so so it's ending. It's for sure ending. If you feel called to end something, you need to do so. You're about to have a new beginning here. Yeah, the hard and tough decision. Two of Swords. Someone going to have a Libra Moon. I'm going to have a Leo Mars here. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, you, maybe you could have been going back and forth on this for a while. You could have been very, like, confused. But the only thing that you know is you don't have the courage and the strength to go forward with something that you're not happy in. So, that's what you need to make a decision about. You're not happy. You got to be honest with yourself, right? And you're, you're, you're burdened. It's like something is just, like, too much. Maybe you're giving too much of yourself and not getting enough in return. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Hermit. So after going within, you're going to make that move to move, excuse me, forward. But yeah, I feel like you've been kind of like, yeah, the world. <laughs> yep, and there's a resistance, the Five of Swords, yeah, and the Nine of Swords. Somebody is really, there's an ongoing battle here. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let's keep going. But the Two of Swords, yeah, I feel like you've been in denial possibly is what I'm getting for sure. 
because your intuition is telling you something, but I don't feel like you've been paying attention to it or you, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, but you've been trying to avoid having to do this here. But as you're avoiding having to do this, you're, you're getting met with resistance here. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what else. Six of Swords, yep. Someone can have an Aquarius Mercury. Bottom of the deck, yep, there's a tower. Ciao. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that Mars. I have a Cancer Mars. I resonate with Cancer's reading so much. A lot of the water signs, except for Scorpio, but I, I resonate with Cancer and Pisces so much. And that, that Cancer Mars, boy, there it is. That's the Mars energy. Yep, the wheel. <laughs> the wheel, yeah. Mm -hmm. Something is changing because it's supposed to. And you can't tell a bitch... Well, I ain't gonna call him a bitch, but you can't tell these hoes. Well, damn, I should have just called him a bitch then if I say ho. <laughs> but y'all get what I'm saying, right? You can't tell these people anything because they, I don't know, you're on a very special journey. I feel like you know what's up. You know what's up. So, I mean, that's all that really matters. The only thing you can do is end the shit and trust the universe and move forward, honey. That's all you can do. Because, but yeah, this reading is very like, is it feels personal. It feels, it feels for sure personal, right? And I've always been drawn to cancers, and I feel like maybe it's because I have it in my chart, in my Vedic chart especially. I don't have a cancer anywhere in my tropical, but in my Vedic chart, I really do. <clears throat> so, so let's see, cancer. Let's see, why is this lovers here for cancer? So yeah, the Six of Swords, this is moving on to peace and harmony, <clears throat> feeling a relief. I feel like a sigh of relief here. Some of y'all could be re relocating, you're traveling, you're moving for after this tower takes place. But what's, <laughs> what's the lovers? Or this is just you having a sudden realization. But this is definitely you taking action and setting yourself free of things that are weighing you the fuck down. Okay, yeah, the world. Yeah, you're closing out a cycle with one of these people. Yeah, so there's a successful completion to a cycle, a connection here that's being over. That's that Saturn energy. What is Saturn just moving to? What, Aquarius? Okay, or something like that. Yeah, so the world here, this is over. I feel like you're going to feel more at peace, more whole within yourself here. Or There's another relationship that really complements you. You're really compatible with it. All right, you and this person could live at a distance, actually. You and your actual person <laughs> could live at a distance. Y'all are not near each other, possibly. Yeah, your judgment has been off with the Queen of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> Yeah, there's something going on between you and somebody's communication. I feel like they have a big ego. They could be arrogant. And you, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, I feel like you, you could be kind of like resenting this person. This is why they're not a match for you. This person has a big ego. They feel like they know everything. Okay, this person is not really ambitious or driven. And this could be, you're having a hard time communicating with them. Just period. I feel like you've been a bit scatterbrained, a bit thrown off with somebody. And yeah, they've been keeping you stuck. It's been hard for you to free yourself from someone. Okay, so yeah. So, okay, so the world, this is closing. <laughs> Travel could be indicated here. You and your person could be meeting up or something, maybe. But, oh, excuse me, what's the high priestess? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Nine or one, someone could have a Sag moon. Someone here could be a Pisces, okay? So yeah, something is just ongoing, okay? I feel like you, you feel defensive. You always have to stand your ground against this person or it's just like something that's just not balanced between you and someone and you know that with the high priestess. I feel like you can see through this person, okay? <clears throat> but you maybe you've been having trouble confronting it. All right, um... I feel like for some of you guys, how you can tell that you need to get away from somebody, you could could be very like moody. You just don't feel balanced. You feel maybe a bit off, okay? Your your intuition has been blocked too, or it is currently with the Knight of Cups in reverse, or you're dealing with somebody that's just like this. But I feel like, yeah, this person has been giving you some trouble, okay? Maybe every time you want to leave their ass, you get pulled back in or something like that. But I feel like you've had your final... This is the last time you're doing that shit. You're not, you're not going back this time for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure, you're not. Okay, this person could be very manipulative and very deceptive as well. They could have cheated on you or if it's not that deep, it's just 
if you don't really have an answer for something or maybe they didn't quote unquote do anything bad to you, I just feel like they just been throwing you off energetically. It's something spiritual that's where you're disconnecting from maybe the soulmate or whoever this might be. Okay, I feel like you could have been procrastinating on something and now with you procrastinating and not really listening to your intuition, you're going to have to like stand your ground for real, for real, because this person is going to be causing trouble. They're going to cause a bit of an uproar, especially with this tower. All right, the longer you take to get rid of something, honey, the tower's going to come really bad. So you might as well just surrender, <laughs> okay, because if you keep resisting, it's not going to, yeah, and I feel like for sure this is unrequited. Now, I'm not going to say that feelings for you ain't real, but, you know, they, I don't know, they just got your energy all fucked up. I don't know. So you have to get, deliver some bad news and you know that you're going to have to stand your ground here. <laughs> you know that you're nervous about it. You don't feel confident enough to do it. But I was going to say, you know, for sure. Um, that is unrequited because I feel like there's a situation here where this person doesn't really help you out with anything. It's like, what's your point of being here if you're not going to be of help? Like, especially if this is like a lover here. I mean, you could do bad or by your fucking self, you know? You know? Um, so there's a lesson here that, you're, that you've learned with the Nine of Wands or you're learning about this here. About settling. <laughs> So yeah, you're going through a spiritual upgrade too. You, your intuition is really heightened at this time because it's guiding you. What's the Ten of Wands? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See what I'm saying? The um Devil and the Strength card upright. Yep. So we're getting synchronicities. You guys could be seeing eleven eleven. Yeah, you're gonna have to have the courage to break free of whatever this karmic tie is. You could have met a karmic, okay? And I'm feeling like you met a karmic in the midst of <clears throat> this separation between you and your actual person. The one that you know for sure that you can win with. Because you definitely can't win with this other one. <laughs> Alright, something is just very toxic. They drain you energetically. They drain you. This could be a very, maybe a very um, codependent relationship. Okay, they could be codependent. But there's some codependency in you too if you've gotten with this person, right? 17, 17. So maybe there's something you're needing to heal too. Um, shine a light on something, acknowledge your faults and where you went wrong and why you even chose this direction so you can heal from it and move forward. That's how you pass. You got to, I know it's challenging, but you got to like really let your ego go and just understand like, hey, I made the decision to choose this damn person. Why did I attract this person? What, what, what was I thinking about? Okay. Really sit with yourself to do the healing work. I'm telling you, it works like a charm. All right. Cause I'm flying, I'm flying through my healing process with gusto is fast okay i feel like I'm, i heal from shit fast because i don't sit in my ego or my pride or you know I, only, I take accountability all right for my mistakes that i've made or whatever the fuck so you know i feel like you're doing the same but <clears throat> yeah two of pentacles in reverse yeah this could be you you could have made the wrong decision made an impulsive decision um it could be your finances are decreasing because you're not on in alignment somebody is throwing you off here you know, they're, they're throwing you the fuck off, right? So, yeah, I feel like you're going to have to have courage and strength and be brave to overcome something and end something. I feel like it's ending. It's ending here. So now it could be time for you to declutter, maybe throw away things that they've given you or um, they could be moving out for some of you. And this is a tough decision here, but I feel like you got the awareness that you need, right? So... <clears throat> you've gotten rid of something too that's within you that's toxic it could be pride it could be ego okay the devil is ego but it could be different kinds right like i don't know temptation um like i said codependencies <sighs> impulsiveness okay what's the strength card upright right here spirit i mean in the main spirit yeah <laughs> the will of fortune in reverse you're you're off track you were off track here Okay. Some of y'all could just be in the middle of someone's karma. And you know this. So this is a very strong message. You know that this is not the right way to go. It's, take, it's pulling you back. If you don't feel like you're progressing somewhere, it's definitely because you're not supposed to be there. <laughs> okay. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. What's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? 
who was this? Well, I think I know what it is, clearly, a relationship, but this is a little fortune in reverse. Yep. Wow. The high priestess in reverse, a block intuition, or just a lack of self-awareness. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse 2 is just giving me bad karma, okay? Because somebody here is out of control. Whoever this is right here that you're trying to get away from, this person, I feel like you need to stay tempered, okay? Watch your anger. Because whoever this is, is very much so not disciplined to, enough to control their emotions, their feelings. I feel like this person lacks self-awareness, okay? And you could have gotten caught up with this person, at, you know, recently or whatever the fuck. Could be a Pisces. Yeah, this is like unwanted attention here. But I feel like they were, I don't know, this person was trying to like go up against you or something like that. Or they have outbursts. So I feel like you need to stay disciplined. What's the, um? yeah, Queen of Wands in reverse. Could be a woman or a man, doesn't matter. It's different for everybody. Let me see, what's the High Priestess in reverse? Something is coming out too, but I was getting with the Wheel of Fortune as well. Um, <clears throat> Whatever this was right here, whatever this is, could be setting you back. All right, it's setting you back a lot. All right, it's, it's slowing down progress for something else to come in. Okay, um, it's definitely unwelcome change. All right, this is something that you this is you clearing some karma. All right, somewhere with dealing with this karmic or whatever the fuck here. All right, you now you're getting back on track with the six of swords. You're de definitely being guided by your spirit guides. What's the high priestess in reverse? Okay, and that's also you doubting your intuition. Yeah, but this is you, I feel like, being at hella burdened, drained, exhausted, fatigued, okay? Putting too much on your plate, more than you can handle. Yeah, that's what I saw with that two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, and it's been throwing your intuition off, which means you're out of balance. You are definitely out of balance, but this needed to happen to show you something about yourself. So figure out what the lesson is. All right, so you can move on. Yeah, here's this lovers, okay? It's, it's, it's yeah, one of these people here, that you're connecting to is just, it won't, it won't, they're not going to invest properly. I feel like whoever this is, maybe they're not stable enough or, <clears throat> but it's, even if they were, I feel like this shit would fall apart anyway, because <laughs> they're, you're not meant to be with this person. Two, 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 two on a timer. Yeah, you're not. This person here, I feel like you've grown frustrated here with this person. I feel like you waste, I feel like you wasted your time somewhere. You wasted your time somewhere. You feel like you wasted your time somewhere. So you could be a bit frustrated, like a lot of money going out possibly and not coming in here, giving too much of yourself. Yeah, it's like you bit off more than you can chew with somebody's ass. Yeah, now that, now, yeah, the chariot, that's you cancer. Now that you want to move forward, they want to fight. <laughs> they want to fight because they, they feel like that's wrong for you to do. And it's like, oh, well, ho. oh, well, oh, well. For others of you, somebody can just be plain old jealous of you, okay? Just very jealous and catty and manipulative and loud and wrong. But, okay, what's the six of wands? <laughs> what's the six of wands here? 23, 23 on the timer. Six of wands. Okay, wow, the six of wands again. So definitely for sure success here. Some of y'all could be seen in a public eye. You could get a lot of attention. Yeah, something here. For some of you, you specialize in something. You could be a relationship coach, a therapist, because you do something worldwide here. Some of y'all could be actually a twin flame specialist, okay? You do something spiritual where you're seen. You're seen in a public eye here. You're getting ready to get a big victory when it comes down to, a, yeah, the Empress. Wow. And the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. You're getting ready to get a big congratulations from spirit because you passed this test. And I feel like there's a connection coming in or you're gaining more rewards, recognition. Your confidence is high at this time. You, you, you're going to feel more vibrant, more um, stable with your energy coming up here. What's, what's the six of wands with the six of wands? You guys be saying six, six, six. Oh, shit. Okay. The damn four of wands flipped upright. Okay, period. Yeah, I told you this is a twin flame connection. I cannot fucking make it up. With the six of cups, yeah, a strong past life connection that you know is coming in. Okay, like, you know that. You know that. A lot of y'all are getting ready to not be fucking single. 
you're not going to have to do whatever this is that you're doing on your own here. I feel like you guys want something equal. You want something balanced. I feel like being a Taurus, honey, I ain't going to lie. You need to come with your money together. All right. You really need to come with your money together, you know, because child, please. I ain't, I, I'm really not in the business of taking care of nobody but my son. <laughs> like that shit is, is crazy. So I get it. But I'm getting you're going to have what you want here. You're going to get what you want. Someone can have an Aries Venus. I'm saying a celebration, a family gathering. Maybe you're going out. Okay, I feel like a lot of people could be coming your way too. You're going to get ready to meet a lot of suitors here. Um, some of y'all could be getting ready to get a new home. Okay, with the, with the uh, four of wands. But I'm definitely getting a twin flame connection. Yeah, some of y'all could be moving or your person is moving near you. Yep, the temperance, soulmate reconciliation energy. Okay, yeah, to balance something out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And that's exactly what's coming in because that's what it looks like. <clears throat> yeah. Yep, you're getting ready to, for some of you guys, you're getting ready to have the relationship of your dreams. You're getting ready to get married and everything. Whatever you're getting ready to step into is the one. This is your person. This is your match. What's these seven of wands? <clears throat> and somebody's going to be mad. Yeah, the ten of cups. Someone can have a Pisces Mars here. So somebody here is standing up for what they want. You you want peace. I feel like you want joy, contentment, happiness. Whatever this lesson is here that you're learning, it's going to make you feel this way. You're going to feel more at peace because if you learned the lesson from whatever this is that Spirit was trying to teach you about yourself and things like that, then you're going to feel this way. But I feel like some of you guys are having to block out family members, friends. But I feel like this is what you're fighting for, though. Mainly, you're fighting um, <clears throat> for your peace and your happiness. And for, you know, this kind of family dynamic that you want here. Okay, someone got a Pisces Mars. Yeah, this is the energy of not really giving up. You're almost close to success here. What's this Ten of Cups? Let's see. Yep, King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, see? Okay, okay, yeah. So, you, um... Whoever this is is quite moody. They could be very much so depressed. You could know this about this person already. Okay, you could know why they revoked their offer from you in the past. Whoever this other lover is that you know is your person. I feel like they revoked their offer from you in the past because they're depressed. Or they could have been married for some of you. They have a family somewhere. Okay, I'm just going to say it like that. I feel like this person could have been very on and off. But for some of you, this other lover here that you were dealing with is very emotionally manipulative. And I feel like this other person is too. But they're working on theirs though. They're working on it. The other person here is not doing the work, right? I feel like you know who's actually working to become a better person is what I'm getting. Okay, I feel like somebody, let's see, what's the King of Cups in reverse? Could be a Scorpio. What's the King of Cups in reverse? Yeah, impulsive. Now, I feel like you move quite quick. Yeah, Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, whoever this is, is kind of like obsessed with the image of having a family, having kids, having the whole nine yards, but they're not emotionally ready. Whoever this other person is that you have to stand your ground with and block or whoever the fuck, they're not really emotionally mature. They have no sense of kind of like self-awareness, like I said, no kind of like intuition. They have a problem listening to their inner voice, okay? Um, now this person they could be jealous of you. you could have kids with this person for some of you if or if you don't you don't but they could be envious of you this this page of cups in reverse could be envious of you i feel like they could be quite pissed off uh -huh. okay that you're walking away you're determined to get away from their ass could be a gemini here yeah they said five of cups yeah whoever this was right here they're greedy somebody could have been even doing magic here but yeah, this person here is not tapped into who they are, though. I feel like this person lacks morals, principles. They really say what they want, but they don't They don't have the tools to be able to manifest that just yet because they need some inner child healing. So there's something that needs to be worked on here within them.
Yeah, but um, mm hmm. I feel like too. I feel like you're very goal oriented. You're very ambitious, and I feel like this other person is just not. I feel like they have a lot of potential, but it's not enough for you to move forward with it. And I feel like you know that, so you're walking away. You're leaving. Yeah, you're leaving it behind here. Just period. Somebody here is not financially stable either. I feel like they're not stable. They're not secure with what they got going on here. And to even be able to build this with you. So it's just like, no, I feel like better is coming. Then you have a right to say no about a relationship. I feel like they're kind of like mad or something. Or I don't know. But what's the two of swords? Or they're going to be. <laughs> and that's fine. It's two of swords. Okay, the three of wands. Wow, with the seven of wands in reverse. We have it up right here. Yeah, so I, I feel like you're surrendering, okay? You're finally surrendering and moving forward, okay? I feel like um, <clears throat> strong fire energy too, a lot of fire, maybe air. Gemini specifically could be here. Leo, yeah, a lot of Leo. But, um... I just feel like you're burnt out, <laughs> okay? With the seven of in reverse, you are burnt the fuck out. You are tired of fighting, okay? You're ready to surrender it because you're seeing that it's not working. I feel like you know something else is coming in, okay? I feel like you're making that tough decision to move forward, move on here. Um, I feel like you lost respect for somebody too. Whoever this is, they've showed their toxic side with this devil in reverse. They've shown how toxic they can actually be when you tell them no or when you don't want to fuck with them or da, da 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 da. I feel like they've shown you everything that you needed to know to know, yeah, to know that you're not feeling safe here. You don't feel secure. And this, per this person could be very emotionally manipulative. They are. And they move very quick. Or things move very quick with this person. But I feel like they, they kind of like in their feelings about it. Whoever this is, you got to walk away from because there's something better coming in. Yeah, the star could be an Aquarius. <laughs> the star with the Empress. Yeah. Yeah, you feel inspired to birth something new. You're ready for a new beginning. Okay. Some of y'all could definitely be star seeds. You're very inspirational, very motivational. Okay. And I feel like you did have high expectations for something. But I feel like you're keeping your faith in a different kind of like situation. Okay. Is you you're not you're not gonna stay here and have faith for something that's clearly not working in one of these situations, but you know where you need to put your faith into and what's what's worth the wait is what I'm getting. Yeah, what's worth the wait for you? Because I feel like you're being shown clear signs that maybe you do need to wait. Maybe something for some of you, you're having issues with your relationships here. You're not getting the relationship that you want for for one because maybe you have to do more inner work on yourself. Which I feel like you're learning through these soulmate connections before you actually meet your divine counterpart. And then for for others of you, um, what was I going to say? Because, yeah, because you feel drawn back to a lover. You feel drawn to this other person, this person that you know is your person. You just know it. With the high priestess and you're actually, absolutely right. <laughs> you're right. So what, let me see. What's the three of wands here? So I feel like there's growth and expansion coming towards you. What's the three of wands? Okay, yeah. Five of cups. Yeah, it's, it's making you sad here or depressed or unhappy or whatever. It's probably going to make you sad. It's going to be a lot of tears, crying. But I feel like you're going to be able to move away from it. Someone could have a Scorpio Mars here. Yeah, you're going to just have to move away from it. Somebody here is in regret. Or they're going to be in regret. And I don't feel like it's you. If you're making this decision to move forward from somebody, they're the ones going to be in regret, not you. Or if it's you're cross-watching here, it could be a cancer that's in regret. But, <clears throat> yeah, I just feel like you're tired. You're really tired. And you know that you're going to have to make this decision. And it's coming up. For some of you, if it hasn't happened yet, oh, it's coming. You're going to have to make the decision to do it. Because you know that you're burdened. So why keep trying to like move on with something if you know that it's not it's not sitting right in your spirit, right? And, and it's throwing you off balance here. It's probably with your work and everything. But what's the Six of Swords? Yeah, the hangman in reverse. Yeah, detaching. You're pulling back. You're withdrawing your energy. You're letting go. You're, you're releasing something. You're just moving the fuck on. <laughs> okay, um... 
I feel like though you could have been withdrawn. Yeah, you you were withdrawn from your intuition for a minute. I really do feel like that. All right. Um you were disconnected from yourself for for a hot minute. There was a negative pattern. Yeah, there was something that you kept doing over and over again. Maybe you're meeting the same people in different bodies, okay? And you're being guided to look at that. Look at why, okay? There could be a lesson here in about standing about standing up for yourself. Stop allowing people to run all over you in a sense. Stop allowing people to take advantage of you. Even if they're so nice or they don't mean no harm, it doesn't matter. You still have to stand your ground. Okay, what else for the hangman in reverse? And I feel like that's where the, the problem comes in that because it's like, well, they're so nice and they're not giving me problems. So let's just sit here and deal with what they're doing. If, even if I don't feel like it's right or if I don't feel right somewhere, I'm still going to deal with it because boom, bop, bip. Like, no, you're going to have to... I'm getting something about that people pleasing again. I just posted something earlier about people pleasing. Yep. See, look, look at what's coming in. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Yeah, you're getting ready to get all the help that you need. If somebody ain't helping you around the house or somebody here is not really equipped with enough skills to really build with you and settle down with you, then they just not it. If, you, if something is not working, it's definitely going to fall apart, though. Especially if you are very much so very spiritual and you're intuitive and you feel shit and you know if you're on a twin flame journey that's very specific for somebody yeah it's just not gonna work honey i'm sorry <laughs> and what's the hangman in reverse you're gonna be pulled right back to where you belong honey and i'm speaking from experience page of pentacles yeah yeah so yeah somebody here could have been really like immature possibly or they really didn't weren't giving you enough for where you are in your life right because you don't want somebody that's I'm not going to say below you, but we're going to keep it real about you. You're elevating. You're growing continuously. You can't get stuck with somebody that's not doing the inner work, for one. Or if, even if, yeah, if yeah, okay, so if you and this person wanted to start a family or settle down, right, there's a need to pitch in with bills. Okay, there's a need to pitch in around the house. I feel like somebody here was not doing that. They were giving you breadcrumbs. They were giving you the bare minimum. And I feel like this was just a lesson here with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, it was just like a little something, something to, I don't know. So then it turned into something big. <laughs> All right. But there could be some kind of like addictions you have. Yeah, it came out with the Empress right here. So you could have like addictions that you're needing to work on still. Even as the Empress, we all have shit to work on. Just because you're the Empress does not mean you get the hardest lessons. Okay, your lessons are the hardest. <laughs> and they are the hardest, honey. They're the hardest. So, yeah, Page of Pentacles, I feel like... This shit causes stagnation here. You really got stuck and you're being spiritually guided to move away. And I still feel like somebody's trying to offer you something. Some of y'all need to consult a tarot reader, okay, with the Page of Pentacles. You could be a tarot reader. Maybe do your own reading, okay? And it'll give you an answer. Yeah, you. there was like a seed or, or a, a seed being planted or a strategy trying to get something off the ground, but I feel like it stays stuck with this Page of Pentacles. There, there's a there's a lesson here. You're, there's something that you're studying or you're learning about yourself as well. Okay, so. Oh, Lord, Cancer. <clears throat> That's a tough one. But with this Saturn energy right here with the world, it's time for something to close. And it is. It looks like it's closing out. They could have, your person could have closed out something too as well as you. Because <clears throat> trust me, if this is a twin flame connection, if you, yeah, your wish is coming in. If this is a twin flame connection and y'all split up, oh, trust and believe you're going to meet other people on your journey. They're probably going to be soulmates, but they're not meant to last. I'm just going to keep it 100. <laughs> people have their own opinions on that. But from experience, from what I'm experiencing, and maybe some twin flames are not meant to be together. I don't know. But I know from my journey is different, honey. I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. So I don't know. Maybe if you're in a twin flame journey, let me know in the comments <laughs> how you're feeling and everything like that. So... Oh, yeah, change, courage. Yeah, you're going to have the courage. You're going to have to have the courage to change something, to move away from something, to pack your shit and go. Um, you guys could be having a problem with speaking up, like communication. Yeah, facade. Okay, there, there's something that's fake. Somebody's hiding behind a mask here. This could be you hiding behind a mask here, lying to yourself about something, not wanting to see the truth about something. 
But yeah, what else? Attraction Mars. Yeah, hot. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, somebody's like mad. Whoever this is is highly attracted to you. Okay, you're really drawn to this person. And this is probably why it's been so hard to walk away. And you've probably been really impulsive here with this Mars energy. That's Aries. Aries could be kind of like impulsive. Um, for some of you guys, this person, whoever it is that you're leaving, they are really attracted to you. But they just, I don't know, there's just something obviously off about them. That's why you're leaving. <laughs> like, but um, control your anger. Okay, control your anger. Because I feel like somebody here is just, they're they're a little bit mad. Yeah, yeah. Comfort zone, self node clinging, and you're trying to grow here. Somebody is stuck in their self node and you're trying to grow. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. You and somebody on are on two different pages, and that's just what it is. And I feel like they need to come to terms with that. I also feel like, too, with this other person, right? You know that you need to keep your guards up with them, too, even if they are your the one for you. If you feel like that, then you're keeping your guards up too because this person could have been very much so in and out. They revoked an offer from you in the past and everything. So, I mean, however your situation is going, you know what to do. I feel like you do. You're very smart. <laughs> what else? There's a very passionate connection that you have with this person. This person could have been in and out with you. And like I said, it could have been another person here. Even though I really don't. I mean, this Queen of Wands could be another person. They're usually my mistress, but mistress car but let's see what else you're very attracted i feel like to both people but somebody is not giving you what the fuck you need and that's just period <clears throat> okay so truth expression yeah something about speaking up for yourself yeah letting it be known and you're gonna have to have the confidence to do it yeah self-love creation and intentions yeah yep Fate, detours, divine intervention. Yeah, receive and be open to whatever is happening here. Yeah, these patterns. Toxicity bound in patterns. It's, it's a pattern here. Definitely with this um, this hangman in reverse. It's, it's definitely a pattern. But this is teaching you something about self-love. So you're on a self-love journey. Right? You're, you're on a very significant one. So you're going to attract people while you're on your journey that's here to teach you things. All right? So... <coughs> What else? You're going to have to be honest about your intentions. <coughs> Excuse me. Facade, yeah, beliefs. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, somebody here is a mirror. Somebody is showing you something about yourself, just like you're showing them something about themselves. Okay. They're mirroring back your issues. Okay, things that you're needing to work on here, for sure. But you're doing the same with them, and I feel like they're mad about it. They're they're the ones in their ego, and they're gonna fuck up their own like karma by doing whatever the fuck they're doing, you know, or or coming at you a certain kind of way. What's facade with beliefs? Control, yeah, control tactics. Yeah, somebody's manipulative. You could be quite manipulative too. Shit, I don't know. But somebody's mirroring back something to you. It could be just a simple fact that you've been trying to control a situation. That's manipulation, though. <laughs> it just don't seem bad, right? But maybe you've been trying to, like, control a situation because of your ego. And this was the wrong thing to do here. You know? Until you realize exactly what was happening here. And really how unhappy you are, how burdened you are. You've been trying to, like, take control of something and it's not in your control at all. <laughs> what else? Renewal. Yeah, spark. Yeah. There's like a lot of passion between you and someone. There's a lot of passion. There's that spark, that chemistry, that that oomph, that, that thing that you need to get things going. Okay. I feel like, yeah, somebody has an Aries Venus like me. <laughs> I have an Aries Venus. I need that. I need the passion. You ain't gonna come to me with no bland shit. I like passion. I like the butt grabbing, the kissing, the hugging, the roughness, the oof, that. <laughs> Okay, a lot of y'all realizing that for some of you, it's your twin that gives you that. They don't. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be quiet. Yeah, rebirth. Yeah, something is. You're going through a major change, but yeah, <laughs> you're about to find that that spark again here. 
Yeah, so, okay, what else? You're gonna feel good again. Even if you don't reconcile with this twin of yours, I feel like you're gonna just feel good, yeah. Guarded vulnerability, yeah. I feel like for some of you guys, you really don't trust someone anymore. This person has shown their ass. They've shown their true colors. You don't trust this person. Whoever this other person is that you have to leave, I feel like you are, this person here is guarded. This is why, like, on a deep level, you can't really connect to this person because internally, they just don't show it. They, they don't show it. They put on a facade, but they have a, a, a struggle with vulnerability. And I feel like as the empress right here at the bottom of the deck, you could struggle with it, right, obviously, but you're a further along on your path than this person, right? They they have a lot of work to do and it's hard to stay with somebody where you're you're just further than them. I don't know how else to explain that shit. You're just further. And I feel like because they don't want to show vulnerability, their ego could be getting in the way. They could be like really, whoever this is could have a like inferiority complex here. And for some of you also, you're realizing that this other lover here, your actual person could be scared of opening up right they could be scared of opening up too but they're working on it that's the difference you want somebody that's actually going to work on themselves especially a man if you're a woman like me speaking from a woman perspective you want somebody that's going to work on themselves and actually show progress okay and it's nothing wrong with that this other person that you have though i feel like they're just sent to show you something about yourself they need to learn something about themselves y'all were not meant to last just period yeah so <clears throat> Yeah, but there is like vulnerability issues here with the page of cups. Somebody's like emotionally closed off. They're not available emotionally. They're not giving you the sense of security that you need emotionally, which causes you to pull back. Okay, just naturally. All right. And I feel like somebody just wants to keep fighting about that. They don't understand that. Yeah, self-worth expectations. Yeah, expect more of yourself in a sense, like, um, set, uh, boundaries, but I'm trying to figure out something else, what I'm trying to say, I don't know what I'm trying to say right now, set boundaries, um, raise your standards, yeah, maybe your standards need to be raised here a bit, I do feel like you did have high expectations of something, but I feel like somebody showed their ass, because I feel like with the seven of wands in reverse, this is somebody that's failing to compromise with you, failing to hear you out, they just think everything that they say is right, and I feel like once you get this indication, you're going to be moving forward here. Yeah, because I feel, I feel like you're over it. You are. You're just completely over it. And I feel like you you trusted somebody here. You expected them to act more civilized or you trusted them with your heart in a sense. And they've completely like showed their ass. So I feel like you don't want to have shit to do with this person. <laughs> just period. Now you're loving on yourself. You're pulling back your energy. Yep, Ace of Cups. See, it's coming. It's coming. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be significant. Yep. Yeah, new love is coming in once you move on from this. Yeah, you're going to get the family, the home, and the commitment you want. I can't make it up. Yep, I can't make it up. You're going to be able to be in unity with someone. Okay, transcendence, unity. Yep, chemistry, passion. You're going to get everything. So don't settle, Cancer. Don't settle for shit, okay? If you ain't getting that somewhere, then you need to walk away. And do it when your intuition tells you to do it. Don't wait until it's too late. <laughs> Until you have to like battle with someone. Because I feel like you waited too late to do something. And now it's like there's a war. There's a battle. Okay. There's like resistance. <clears throat> you know. So there could be some shit that you need to work on as well. Even being the empress. And that's fine. Right. So let's see. So we have a spirit is pushing you to rest your physical, emotional, or mental body as you may be overworking yourself. Yeah, you are. Take time to sleep and replenish your energy. Now you have been doing too much and deserve a break. Yeah, it is this relationship. It's re this relationship that's weighing you down. Something about this with this lining up like this. Yeah, you need to focus on you here right now, cancer or something like that. You've been doing a lot. Okay, which is knocking you off balance. For sure. What else? This is a period of purging and releasing karmic contracts. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm getting with this contract, especially with this devil right here. Subconscious block, subconscious blockages and other past experiences and energies. You may feel uncomfortable symptoms. Breathe and surrender to this deep healing. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly what this is. You ran into a karmic soulmate. That was just supposed to teach you something. And now it's over. <laughs> it's just over or it's going to be. 
you might as well get get ready if you haven't went through it yet, honey. Because who oh lord? <laughs> okay, it says you have a compassionate, giving nature that is always putting others before yourself. Yep. Just be sure that you are not overextending your energy as you must also give that same love and compassion to yourself. Keep your own tank full. That's what you're learning right there. That's what you're learning here. This is a part of your self-love experience. You're learning that. Yeah. <clears throat> you give too much of yourself here, Cancer. And as a Taurus, I really love Cancers. I understand y'all. Okay, I'm really a deep, compassionate, sympathetic, empathetic kind of person myself. And I over-nurture people. <clears throat> I do. I forget about myself all the time. You know, so let's see. So it says, flow like water moving down a gentle river right now. There is nothing you must do and nothing that you are being asked to change in your life. Relax, let go, and be more flexible in your way of thinking and being. So I feel like this is like the aftermath. Or this is just telling you to kind of like go with the flow. Because yeah, I see control and control tactics. There's something here that you just cannot control. Okay, you cannot control it. You might as well just try to go with the flow here. Be open to these changes because there is changing. There is changes. But I feel like this person, the person that you're getting away from or trying to move away from, they're going to have to make these changes. They're probably going to have to be the one that really walks away and go with the flow. I feel like you already know that you need to do that. Relax, let go, and be more flexible in your way of thinking and being. Yeah. So, so bottom of the deck, it says, notice the whispers from spirit, guides, angels, and passed on loved ones that surround you now. If you have called upon their guidance, they have heard you. Feel the comfort that their presence brings. Yeah. So, there's that, Cancer. Hopefully, I gave you some clarity about your situation. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.